the moment you lose focus your fate is anything but to become successful back on the 2nd of june of 2021 that was the first time that i went to the gym i think i'm gonna have an image on the screen right now i told myself it was time to make a change and that's what i did i went to the gym for the first time ever in my life i was motivated by all the content i was seeing online and especially my big sister um she was the one that encouraged me the most to go to the gym i go inside the gym and i see all these people around me doing squats you know with barbells what else uh curls using the machines and stuff in the treadmills i was like oh my god there's the, the thing is for me the gym was you know some dumbbells and the treadmill and that's it but there was so many machines there were so many machines and i was like okay what do i do now so i went and asked uh, one, one of the stuff a really nice person by the way and she told me, oh, it's, it's your first time here, so I think you, you might start first like, warming up. I didn't know what warming up was. I mean, I knew from PE, you know, physical education. That's um, that's how you call it in the UK. And pretty much, she was like, oh, I feel like you should like war warm up a bit in, on the treadmill. I went and I did that. And I was there for like 30 minutes, just living running, just walking. No. And then I was like, I think after 30 minutes of walking, I think that's enough of a warm up, even though it is not if you should do more than that. But. And that's when I went to the dumbbell section, not the lifting section. I go to the gym in the UK, so I don't know how it is in other places. So you go the cardio, that's one of, one of the sections, that's where the treadmill was. Then you have the lifting for like uh, weight lifters. And then there's a different section where it has dumbbells from 1kg to 20kg I think and it has um, the, the the balls uh, the balls <laughs> the balls that you can use to I don't know do Russian twist so I wonder I go and get the 1kg dumbbells and I start doing curls I start doing curls and I didn't know what sets were, I didn't know what reps were, I didn't know how much of rest you, you need to have in between. And I was just doing that till I was just on a fucking diet. I remember people looking at me the whole time like... So after doing that, after, I think I did that for like 30 minutes. And I was like, okay, now after using the dumbbells, I'm going to use another machine. I go to the machine section. I'm like, okay, what in the heck I do now? I didn't even know what curls were building, you know, I, like I felt something in my arm, but I was like, well, I guess that's my whole arm already, so I might do apps. And I started using the apps crunch machine, the one that goes like this. <sighs> okay, one, two, I don't know how many I did, and after two hours of just going around the machines, just doing it till I like, die in every single one of them, right? I left the gym. And the next day, you know what happens after your first day of the gym, right? My body was so sore. I literally, I was if if I, if I wanted to move one inch, one inch of my leg, a bit, I was literally screaming inside my head. I was like, oh my god! I I wasn't told. I wasn't told that it was this painful. You know, to be sore after going um, to the gym. I thought I literally broke my my muscles or something because I. That was my first time experiencing that, that much of pain, right? And again, I didn't I didn't look up any kind of workout plan, up any diet plan. I didn't look up any um, after workout plan or process to, you know, uh, recover muscle. I didn't know what protein was. I didn't know what carbs were. That's another thing, my diet. Well, so after that day, so, so that was the first day going to the gym. Second day, I didn't go because I was like, oh, I think I broke my muscles. I think I need to recover. I didn't know what so muscle soreness was after, uh, after going to the gym, right? the next day i didn't go as well so two days straight at two days straight i didn't go to the gym then the next day i was like okay i think it's time to go to the gym i did exactly the same thing and then do every single exercise over again so it was kind of a full body workout even though it was not like nowhere near so i did that for three months straight and eventually i didn't manage to lose weight because uh you know i wasn't i wasn't eating sweets anymore i wasn't eating I wasn't eating garbage anymore. I was working out. I was eating healthier. You know, it is true. I was eating healthy because I was eating salads. But you know, it wasn't the right proportions for the carbs. It wasn't the right 
amount of protein after three months okay and I was like oh sh like I'm losing weight let's go and that's where I reach what I like to call my biggest dead point ever when it comes to my fitness journey I wanted to uh, build muscle right I wanted to look big I, I want to get bigger right but I had no idea how to do that I didn't know what bulking up was I didn't know what cutting was I didn't know any of this fitness terms my camera stopped recording we call we call after one year of not not seeing results i was getting really desperate and i thought that i was doing i was doing something wrong right because i was going to the gym four times three times a week i would, you know more than way more than the average person was going to the gym right but it wasn't me going to the gym i was doing okay the thing is that if you're going to the gym constantly that means you're doing something wrong something wrong in the kitchen that's pretty much to summarize it that I, I was doing something wrong in the kitchen but things I didn't know that but that's when someone told me that oh you can barely lift any weights I feel like you need to get bigger I feel like you need to eat more and have more energy and grow muscles right and I was like wait that's true isn't it if you want to lift more that means you have to grow more muscle and you, in order to grow more muscle it's, it's common sense right but you need to give it fuel so it grows bigger right and that fuel is food protein carbs you know but yeah it's food isn't it but i didn't know that at all and at the time i wasn't counting my calories and stuff it was a whole mess for for one year and that's when I, and that's when i told myself okay now i'm gonna eat a lot of food now i'm gonna grow a lot of muscle but that's when i made one of my biggest errors ever which is to eat a lot but not train <sighs> I was literally eating 3,000 calories a day every single day and going to the gym for one or two days so everything was reversed so I was eating like I, I should be eating when, when I want to walk up but I wasn't working out as consistently I wasn't working out properly so it was the other way around so eventually I gained all my weight back and I was like, wait, but I thought you need to eat more, right? Bro, but you also need to go to the gym, so... <sighs> you know, it's funny for me to say all this because I've been through it and after two years, well, one year from that dead point, um, you find it funny, right? But I am pretty sure for a lot of people, if they had been through the same thing and after one year, they would have stayed physically the same. They would have given up on their fitness goals and probably they thought everything they've done was a waste you know going to the gym for a full year and saying the same so i want to cheer up a bit and say what happened after so after three four months of gaining weight especially last year um september last year september last year that's when i decided to make a change make a change in my mindset in my beliefs i went from being the undisciplined kid I was and complacent to really disciplined and focus on my goals now from September to January I've been losing a lot of weight I feel good now I'm going through a body recomp where you mainly lose body fat and grow muscle so why am I saying all this so what's the point of everything I've said till now why am I telling you my fitness journey right? there's a quote I don't know from who but it goes something like a man learns from his mistakes but a wise man learns from the mistakes from others you know i could have blamed a lot of things that my fitness journey wasn't that good 70 percent of it it wasn't that good right even though i'm grateful for all of it i know i could have blamed oh i was clueless i didn't know what i was doing no one told me what i sh i was meant to do but i'm a man that takes full responsibility of all i do and I know there are two reasons why this happens and I want you to think about them and learn from them as a wise person. I lost focus and I got complacent. Those two are the reasons why we lose track and we never reach our goals. Another example is when last year, when my mindset was still the same as it was last year, I told myself that I want to upload videos on YouTube and inspire people that perhaps had been through the same thing as me as I am doing right now. But I got complacent and lost focus on, on what I was doing. But now my mindset, my beliefs ha have changed tremendously. And now, and I set myself a goal to upload five videos a week on YouTube, no matter what. 
we set all the goals like waking up early going for a run while being fasted going to the gym properly and learning something new every day and that's something that i've been doing constantly but how did this happen now i'm the most productive i've ever been in my whole life how it's pretty simple besides the change of my mindset i change the way I see myself, I change my identity. Identity is pretty much what you believe you are. The perception that you have for yourself. For example, my identity before was an average person that will go to the gym sometimes, but then indulge in bad habits. So I will grow muscle, lose weight, but then I will spend one week just telling myself that, oh, I need a rest. I deserve my me resting or not going to the gym because I didn't feel like it going to the gym but now I identify myself as an athlete who constantly uploads YouTube videos who runs like an athlete every single morning who eats like an athlete healthy who works out like an athlete who sleeps like an athlete who focuses on anything but their goals as an athlete I really believe it's time for you to step back a bit take a look at yourself and think about what your goals are don't lie to yourself though, we all have goals, we all have desires. Now I want you to identify as someone who has already achieved those goals that you have in your mind. Let's say one of your goals is to grow a business and make a lot of money. You want to become filthy rich. I want you to identify as a successful business owner who works on his business 10 hours a day and only focuses on that. And you're not going to lose focus because a successful business owner doesn't spend 3, 4, 5 hours a day on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube, whatever, wasting the time and getting distracted like you were before, like how you identified yourself before us. A successful business owner tries every single day to learn something new that will help their business to grow. Of course, they don't overwork themselves. They are experts at time management. They know how to use time properly so they can spend the, their time with their loved ones, obviously, 100%, 100%. Be healthy, 100%. But a successful business owner, the ones at the top, the ones that have everything you desire, the money, the status, everything, they never lose focus. They never get complacent because they know the moment that happens, their downfall is near to come. The moment you lose focus, your fate is anything but to become successful. Now it's time to get out from YouTube and take action. Yeah, that's about it. See ya.